In today's interconnected world, data has become the new currency. From the moment we wake up in the morning to the time that we go to sleep, we are constantly emitting vast amounts of information. This data, often referred to as our digital footprint, shapes our lives in ways we don't even realize. So what is a digital footprint? Essentially, it's the imprint we leave behind in cyberspace as we navigate through our daily lives. It encompasses everything from the websites we visit, the products we purchase, to the locations we frequent. This wealth of information is called big data, and is collected, analyzed, and sold daily by a multitude of parties. One of the most prevalent uses of big data is in the realm of advertising. Every click, scroll, and search query provides valuable insights into consumer behavior. Advertisers leverage this data to tailor personalized advertisements, ensuring that their messages reach the right audience at the right time. It's not just about what you search for or click on anymore. Advertisers now have the ability to track your every move, both online and offline. One method to accomplish this is via your Advertisement Identifier, or Ad ID. Integrated into modern mobile devices, ad IDs allow advertisers to monitor your physical whereabouts in real time. Whether you're strolling through a shopping mall or grabbing a coffee at your favorite cafe, your location data is constantly being harvested and analyzed. Ad ID tracking has revolutionized the way advertisers reach consumers. By geotargeting ads based on your precise location data, they can deliver highly relevant and timely messages to potential consumers, whether it's promoting a nearby store or offering a special discount at a restaurant you frequent. However, the convenience of personalized ads comes at a cost. Many individuals are unaware of the extent to which their location data is being collected and utilized by advertisers. Have you ever wondered why a seemingly random ad was so relevant? Imagine yourself walking through a target. You enter the lamp aisle and look at a specific lamp momentarily before exiting the aisle. A short while after, while you are still in the store, you receive an ad for a target lamp. This is no coincidence. Ad companies are tracking you in real time and noticed you spent a significant amount of time in the lamp aisle. This was an attempt to persuade you into making that purchase. Location tracking technologies like ad IDs pose a serious threat to individual privacy and autonomy. The ability for advertisers to monitor our movements in real time opens the door to unprecedented levels of surveillance and control. It's imperative that we establish clear regulations and safeguards to protect consumer rights in this digital age. In response to growing concerns about data privacy, governments around the world are implementing stricter regulations on the collection and use of personal information. From the European Union's General Data Protection Regulation, or GDPR, to California's Consumer Privacy Act, these laws aim to empower consumers with greater control over their own data. However, once this data is online, it's extremely difficult to remove. Take data aggregators, for example. These sites purchase pieces of information primarily from credit bureaus and piece together intricate profiles of individuals. This data can include anything from your current address, your phone number, email addresses, previous addresses, and even a list of family and friends. Since I'm using this as an example, I blurred all personal information. However, if you were to try this with your own name, you could see how accurate these websites truly are. The example on screen now is from a site called Fast People Search, and right now it's showing me where this individual currently resides, their associated phone numbers, email addresses, aliases, information on their house, previous addresses, and a pretty lengthy list of relatives and associates. And this is only one out of the hundreds or thousands of similar free websites out there. But there is a silver lining. You can request your information be removed from these websites. Most of the websites have an option to opt out, and others require you to email your request in. Some websites, to dissuade you from removing your information, require you to present a scanned photo ID. While targeted advertising may seem innocuous, it raises serious concerns about privacy and consent. Many individuals are unaware of the extent to which their personal information is being collected and utilized by corporations without their explicit consent. In addition to targeted advertising, big data is also being utilized in a more controversial way, such as a social credit scoring system. In certain countries, citizens are assigned a social credit score based on the behavior both on and offline. This score can determine access to various services and privileges, effectively shaping societal behavior. Social credit systems represent a significant shift in how governments and corporations exert control over populations. By leveraging big data and algorithms, these systems have the potential to influence individual behavior on a massive scale, raising concerns about surveillance and social manipulation. The Chinese social credit system represents a powerful tool of social control. 
By linking scores to accesses to services and opportunities, the government effectively influences and restricts individual behavior on a massive scale. One of the most striking examples of the social credit system's impact is the restriction on travel. Citizens with a low social credit score can be barred from purchasing plane or train tickets, effectively limiting their freedom of movement. This can happen for a variety of reasons, from unpaid debts to posting critical comments on social media. Imagine not being able to visit family, attend a job interview, or even seek medical treatment in another city because of a low score in an arbitrary social credit system. Beyond travel restrictions, the social credit system also employs public shaming as a tactic to enforce compliance. In some cases, individuals with low scores find their names and offenses publicly displayed on billboards or online, subjugating them to social isolation and humiliation. Additionally, the system can restrict access to credit, education, and employment opportunities. Individuals with low scores may find it difficult to secure loans, enroll their children in certain schools, or obtain desirable jobs. As cities around the world strive to become smarter and safer, the implementation of safe city technology has become increasingly prevalent. These initiatives, designed to enhance public safety and security, often leverage big data, surveillance cameras, and advanced analytics. However, the benefits of these technologies come with a significant trade-off and potentially negative consequences. Safe city programs typically involve the integration of surveillance cameras, facial recognition systems, and real-time data analytics to monitor and respond to criminal activities and emergencies. While these technologies can undoubtedly aid law enforcement, they also raise serious concerns about privacy, civil liberties, and the potential for abuse. Facial recognition technology in safe cities presents significant risk. There are concerns about the accuracy and potential biases of the systems, which can lead to wrongful identification. Additionally, the data collected is vulnerable to breaches and misuse, posing a serious threat to individual privacy. Beyond privacy and security concerns, the implementation of safe city technologies can also stifle public dissent and freedom of expression. The presence of extensive surveillance can deter individuals from participating in protests or voicing dissenting opinions, fearing retaliation or surveillance. Take London, for example. Over 627,000 CCTV cameras are active on its streets. However, that number is nothing compared to what we see in Beijing. According to Surfshark, Beijing has approximately 1,150,000 CCTV cameras. I highly recommend playing around with the tool that they have hosted on their website. Here you can compare the difference between cities around the world and find out which cities are the most surveilled. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to give it a try yourself. Bottom line. Navigating the systems of big data, surveillance, and privacy presents both remarkable opportunities and formidable challenges. Safe cities and social credit systems offer glimpses into a future where technology can enhance our lives in unprecedented ways. However, they also serve as cautionary tales of the potential for a dystopian-type future that erodes our fundamental freedoms.